Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. In today's video, we're going to see the methods that we have available under the MLflow client to manage MLflow runs. And the first method that we're going to explore is create run, which is from the client. Now, this method creates a run object. Notice that before, when we were using mlflow.startrun, we were creating a native run object. So this basically means that in the backend, uh, login functions will not be able to detect this run, the run that we created using this uh, method, right? So let's get started with some code. So I'm going to create an instance of my MLflow client here, and I'm going to use the method. Now notice here that one difference is that we have to specify the ID of the experiment that we want to use. In this case, I'm using zero, which means that this is the default experiment. Now, as you can see here, instead of getting a native run, we're getting a run object. Now, let me get the information here. So the status is running, the user ID is unknown, wrong name, experiment ID, run ID, etc. We have all this information. Now, what happens if I try to use a method like this, mlflow.logmetric, right? Um, if I run this method, right? And now let me show you this in the interface. mlflow will create a new run instead of using the run that we just created with the client. So here we have two runs. This, this gifted uh, v was the run that we created using the MLflow client. And this is the method that, sorry, the run that we created using MLflow.startRun, sorry. We didn't use MLflow start running, we just log a metric that we can see here. And since at that moment there was not active experiment, MLflow, sorry, active run, MLflow created this uh, run to contain this random metric. Now, if I go to the notebook and run this method, MLflow will end the, the run that this method created, right? So let me go back to the interface to show you that. If I refresh this page, we can see that the run that was created by the login function is now finished. As you can see here in the status, it's finished. But the, the run that we created using the client is still running. So how can we use that uh, run? Let's go to the notebook. I'm going to show you. So in this case, login functions usually have um, a parameter that we can use to specify the run ID. And that's what we are doing here. I'm using mlflow.logmetric, right? I am providing the key, which is the name of the metric, and the value of the metric. And then as a run ID, I am passing the ID of the run that we created using the client that you can see here. Now, not all the login functions provide a parameter that we can use to specify the ID of the run. For example, logparent, there is no such uh, argument or parameter that we can use to specify the run ID. So this code will throw an exception. Let me show you this. It says log parent got an unexpected keyword argument run ID. So we cannot specify the ID for this particular function or method. Now let me show you in the interface how this run looks like after running log metric. So here I'm going to refresh. I have this run, the run that I created using the client. And here we can see a new metric, M1. So, in short, we can use um, login functions and runs created with, um, with the client if we specify the ID here. But there are, let's say, functions or methods that we cannot use in this way because they just don't provide a mechanism to provide or to specify the run. Now let's take a look of, at how we can end a uh, run that we, that we created with the client. 
and the method that we should use is mlflow.setTerminated and in this case we need to provide the ID of the run that we want to terminate. So for example here, client, I am creating an instance of the mlflow client and here I am using the method mlclient.setTerminated and specifying the ID of the run that I want to terminate. Now here I'm just getting the, the run object, right? To get an updated version of this object and printing the status information so the status is finished so if i go to um, the ui here i'm going to refresh this page and this is the run that we created using the client is now finished let me go back to the notebook but now there is a question how can i log parameters uh, when I use client.createRun to create runs. Well, in that case, we can use the run context or the star run method, right? So what I'm doing here is creating a run using the client, as you can see here, and specifying the ID of that run within my star run function. Now, by doing this, I'm going to create a native run or going, I'm going to transform the run object I have here to active run. And as you know, when I have a native run, functions or methods like this are able to detect that particular run and lock the parameter or the metric. So in short, I'm going to create a run object. Then I'm going to use a star run here just to continue the run but as a native run in this case, right? And then in this within the con within this context, I can use log parent and log metric without specifying the ID. So let me run this example. And here we can see that the name of the run is this one. The status is running, right? Um, outside the context is finished. So even though we created the run using the client, um, we can implement an approach like this to automatically finish the run and also to use the run to log parameters, which doesn't set um, a run ID a parameter. So let me show this in the interface. And if I go to default, here we have the, the last run that we created using the client. And here we can see the metric and parameter that we load. Well, that was everything for this video. Thanks for watching it and see you next time.